Hello everybody, welcome to my beginner level Azure administration lab. So today we're going to be creating a group and then adding a user to that group. Super simple, we're going to be doing it all through the Azure command line interface. And if you're not familiar with the Azure CLI or with, you know, text interfaces, don't be afraid. This will be a really easy step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll make sure I follow along very close with you and I encourage you to follow along. And if you don't want to follow along, feel free to just grab a drink and hang out. So let's get right into this. Step one, make sure you have an account on portal.azure.com. If you don't have an account, it's free. And you can just make your brand new Microsoft account for free, sign up. And the second thing I want to get into is, you know, the Azure has costs. So I want to address this. Everything we're going to be doing in this lab is all free. But just to keep a peace of mind, if we go under all resources, here we can see all the resources that we create. And at the end of this video, we're going to delete them all. So we're going to make sure that we have nothing left behind and this lab is just going to be clean. We'll delete it all at the end. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Azure CLI. The little logo is to the right of the search bar. And I've already been messing around there a little bit. so. Let's get a new session going here. In order to get the Azure CLI up and running, you need to create a storage account and a resource group. Luckily, we can create all through here. So instead of clicking create storage, we're going to go show advanced settings. And our subscription type is going to be pay as you go. As you know, this is going to be free. We're going to pick whatever region you want. Under resource group, we're going to go ahead and type in any name you want, but it's going to be unique. Storage account two. I'm going to put in some uppercase here to prove a point. You'll see what I mean later. So create storage. It's not going to work because lowercase characters only. Azure doesn't like uppercase characters. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all the uppercase characters. Hit create storage and that should work out just fine. So after about five to 10 minutes, maybe less, maybe more, this should be what's showing up. And with the power of video editing, here we are in the future. So let's go ahead and do the first thing we need to do is we need to connect this Azure CLI interface to the Azure Active Directory service. In order to do that, super easy. You just type in connect Azure Active Directory no error it works we can go ahead and clear this out as well type in cls to clear we can do clear i'm not sure why it was read there but happens sometimes so we can go ahead and maximize the screen the next thing we're going to do is you know in order to create the group we need to be connected to azure ad but so we already did that next thing we need to do is now we need to create the Azure Active Directory group with a specifying command and some extras to make sure it's set up the way that we want it to be set up. So type in new Azure Active Directory group, specifying that we're creating a new group for Azure Active Directory. So then a little dash, because this is kind of like a flag, I guess, or a switch for the display name. And then in quotations, you can type in any name you want. So Hungarian Nerd Lab. Then we go mail enabled, false. So this is saying we're not going to be setting up a mailbox. We're not doing any mail kind of stuff. So, you know, very simple lab. By default, it's set up. So, well, not set up well, but by default, it is a feature. So that's why we need to include it so that we can turn it off manually. The next thing I'm going to type in is this little tack. And for those of you who are new to coding, all this does is when I hit enter, it doesn't complete my command. And it's just like typing the whole command out in one line. But instead of doing that, we can make it look nice, visually appealing so that you can follow along better. So here I'm going to do another little flag, type in mail nickname, and again, we're going to type in no set because we're not setting up a mailbox. We are, however, going to be enabling some 
basic default security feature by typing security enable true. Hit enter. And I get an error because I type, I put an A in nickname. There you go, done. So when you get this output, that's how you know that you won. And it's showing you the object ID and the display name of the Azure AD group that you have created. Open up a blank notepad. We're gonna type in the object ID. Take this long number and paste it right in there because we're gonna be using that for later. Now the next thing we're gonna do is get, get the ID, the object ID of the username that we're trying to put into that group. So get Azure AD user, object ID is what we're looking for. And then in quotations, we're gonna be putting in the user. So now we haven't set up a user yet, but when you create your Azure Active Directory, it actually creates a user automatically for you. And up in the top right hand corner where my face is in the way, hold on, let me move me away just for a moment so you can see what I'm talking about. Here, this is where it shows your information. Here's your email address. So if I move my face back, you can see what I'm doing. If I put in Adam, martinbecca at gmail.com. So this is the email address for my user. And when I hit enter, it's not gonna work. Told you. So what we're gonna do is go under Azure Active Directory. If it doesn't show up, you can just type in AAD. And by the way, this is a good time to check to see if our group has been created. We already know it's been created because we wrote the the command but if we go under groups we can see that it's there so let's go back to default directory go under users and here we can see your own name hopefully and underneath your name you will get this long name here which is called the user principal name now the user principal name is what we're looking for And here we can do up arrow. Delete that. Put in the big long user principal name. Put a quotation on it. And there you go. We haven't created anything. All we did was get the object ID. Which by the way. Come on which by the way, can be found right in here. So you don't actually even have to do that command. We're just doing it for fun. So you can even put it to the, copy the clipboard. But anyway, so go back here, you get the object ID, right click, copy, go to the notepad. We're gonna do the user ID, put that right there. And now we're gonna put the user ID into the object ID of the group. So. We're gonna do add Azure AD group member object ID. And here we're gonna want the ID for the group because this is where we're gonna be adding that member. We're gonna put the tick because our command isn't done yet. Here we're gonna be doing reference object ID. So here, this is what we're referring to that we're putting into that group. So we're referring to this user ID. Go ahead and hit enter. We didn't get any error messages, so go ahead and clear and let's verify this. Get Azure AD group member. Object ID. Then we're going to go ahead and put that group ID back in here. And now what this is doing, we're getting information about what group members are in the Azure Active Directory. And this is the group ID of the information that we're looking at. So hit enter. And these are all of the members in this group. So we can see there's only one member. That's the ID of the member. Here's the display name of the member. 
Here's the user principal name and the user type. So we can verify this now if we go back to home, go back to Azure directory. You don't have to go back and forth like that, but you know, go to groups, Hungarian nerd lab, go under members. And there is our member in our group. So if you see the same results as me, this means that we won and we've come to the end of our lab where we can purge everything, go to the all resources. Let's go ahead and delete everything. Type in yes here. If you had any issues with the lab, feel free to leave comments in this video and hopefully I can help you out. Go to the resource group. These are free, so you don't have to delete it, but you know, if you want to. Go ahead and copy this, the resource group name, because for this one, you do need to put in the resource group name to delete it. The other thing we created was the Azure Active Directory group. So, I'm glad you guys watched, glad you guys were here today, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.